Hey guys, this year we're going to be using Class Dojo. A new feature that they just released is called Worksheets. So we'll be using the portfolios and sometimes you'll have worksheets. And I wanted to show you how to get connected. So you're going to receive um, two different ways to do that. One, if you're in class with me, you'll get a paper with your uh, QR code and you'll be able to sign in right on your device. Um, but you might also want to do this on a home device in case you want to do anything at home in the evenings. Um, but you also have other options. There's the option of doing it through your parents' phone, and those directions will be in your parents' phone um, class dojo account, or there's a link over here. Now, because I'm on my home computer and I don't have this QR code printed out, I'm just going to use the option of clicking, and I've created a fake student named 4W um, so that I can show you how this works. So this is the student end and what it looks like um, for students. So you'll notice that each student, you guys will have two classes. You'll have one that says Mrs. Will 2020-2021, and then you'll have one that says either Mrs. Will RL for remote learners or Mrs. Will IP for in-person learners. Either way, you'll have two classes. And then over here are going to be your assignments. You can also go here to portfolio and you get a bigger view of your assignments. So today I'm going to show you um, what the assignment's going to look like that you're going to see on Thursday. Now I'm always going to put a day on there. Please don't do them early because we won't have gone over the content. Um, but I wanted to show you how you will do an assignment once you have one. So let's say that my I was on Canvas and my calendar told me that I needed to do review what you know. So I'm going to go to Class Dojo, go to my account, and I'm going to click start. Now you'll see I have this worksheet and it is tiny, so it's really hard to see. If you use this button down here, this plus sign, you can make it bigger. And you can also click on the image and drag it to get it to the right spot, whatever you, wherever you need to do, do that. Now if you're on a mobile device, you can just use a stylus and write directly on that worksheet. Um, that would be if you're on a phone or a tablet. Most of us are going to be on computers, and so you're going to use this T, this text tool, far more often. Um, if they're easy things like these, like greater than, less than signs, then you can use the pencil tool. And that, you just click on it. You probably want to use a small dot. This is the size of the line that you draw. So if I do this, I'm going to have a big, huge line. And if you ever mess something up, you want to get rid of it, click on the arrow, click on what you drew. Oh, and the trash can should come up. If that doesn't work, they also have the undo button down here. So I can undo it. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my pen, pick a reasonable size, and let's say I wanted to draw in my greater than, less than sign here. I would just click and hold it down, and I can draw it in, greater than, less than. Um, same with here, click. When I'm holding it down, it draws, then I let go. Click, hold it down, let go. And there's my answer there. Now, we're not going to do worksheets this way that often, but every once in a while. Now, up here, you don't want to write these words um with that tool if you're on a computer because clicking with a mouse would be hard so then i'm going to use the t tool t is a text i just click up here it says the numbers zero one two three four and so on are called well, if i click here it's going to make a text box it's going to be pretty big but i'm going to go ahead and type in my answer if you watch this video you'll have a free answer and you'll see it's huge now if i click out and then click back on it I get these little square boxes, and that allows me to resize. So I'm going to make it lots wider. Then I'm going to do on the corner and make it small. And if I want to move it, I just click in the middle. See how that arrow is now a crisscross? If it's a crisscross, I can click and drag it to wherever I want. And then if I click out here, then I'm done. Now I see I still have something goofy over here, but that's okay. I'm not going to worry about it. Oh, trash can. Now I have two something goofies. That's okay. We're all learning. So you go through and you go ahead and do your worksheet. Um, and like I said, we're not going to do math worksheets on here very often at all. Um, but sometimes it will be a, something that we'll have to do for a remote learning assignment. When I'm all done, I just click hand in. And then it will show up down here in my portfolio. Now, if you see this little clock, it just means I haven't looked at it yet. Mom and dad and any adults connected to your Dojo account cannot see it until I have looked at it. Once I've looked at it, that clock will go away and it will show up for mom and dad on their account as well. So that's how you use Class Dojo worksheets. Now, if you go back to Portfolio, and these are just your to-do assignments, and I go back to Home, 
you'll see you also have these things. So you can do other things that aren't assigned to and click on those. I'm going to ask that at the beginning, we don't do that because every time you submit something, it's going to fill up my inbox and I'm going to have a hard time keeping up. So please don't use these unless you're asked to do so. Looking forward to using this with you guys and I look forward to working with you very soon.